All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about building an arcade. Um, so first I'm going to start, like, uh, I don't know, do, do, do you all know what the arcade is? Uh, so back, those of us who grew up like in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, we used to like to go to a, to a fair and we, we would have these machines in which you can play video games. And, but you have to put a, a coin inside and a lot of us actually uh, uh, spend all of our pocket money uh, uh, playing on one of these machines. And uh, the, the goal was to master it, you know, to, to use only one coin and, and, and go play for hours until the end of the game. Some of the games didn't even have the end, uh, which was frustrating. But uh, anyway, that's how we used to play as a kid. And uh, uh, me and my cousins play, played a lot of these games and uh, lost a lot of money. And uh, so practically, like, uh, all of us wanted to build this arcade. And uh, I'm like, my, my cousin is really good with wood. You know, he, he's a really good carpenter. He builds all these boats and uh, kayaks and all the stuff with the wood. Uh, I, I'm actually pretty bad with it. But, uh, and I was coming here from San Francisco, and every year I come and, you know, we do a lot of stuff together, like play games. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> And this year, like, I asked him, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we can do for a change something practical, like, you know, build an arcade, you know. I, I, can, I, I found, like, a lot of uh, uh, electronic components uh, at other fruit industries, and I bought them and play around it with home, but uh, I couldn't build the whole thing. And uh, he was thinking about it, the same thing, but he, he, he wanted to build this thing and didn't have the components and the electronics and all of that. So we came to the idea, okay, we're going to build the arcade within like a couple of days that I'm going to spend here. And uh, so we both needed to prepare uh, very good because we only had a couple of days of, uh, of me staying here. And um, so basically he built, as you can see on the pictures, this, this, uh, this uh, cabinet uh, from the wood. Uh, and uh, I brought all the electronics, which was really, really, really funny when I was stopped at the border, and they opened my suitcase full of electronics and tea molding and asked, like, what is this? <laughs> okay, it's a Leisna. Uh, and I said it, like, you know, it's completely normal that somebody from U.S. is bringing a Leisna with him, but it was like, okay, uh, <laughs> Uh, basically, uh, I, built, I, I just brought all the components I thought we need, and I didn't know if we're gonna find it in Serbia, we didn't have time and all that, like, if, in case something is missing. So, basically, uh, we started working on it. The cabinet was, like, kind of in this state when I already arrived. Uh, and then we started, you know, working on it, and I started, you know, connecting my components, and I asked uh, a, a friend, we had a, a, an electrician to bring, uh, you know, the sword, soldering iron and all the stuff we needed. Uh, and then I realized that one of the joysticks I bought from Adafruit doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, we, we were kind of stuck in that moment, like, okay, w w what's going to happen, you know, like, maybe, okay, we're going to make it only for one player, and, you know, it, it became a little bit frustrating, like, everything works except one joystick. So, after hours of discovering, we did, uh, my, our friends actually dismantled this whole thing. <laughs> And uh, so that, I, I guess that's kind of a difference. Like here, you, you can't just send it back and like get a return. Like you have to, you have to hack it. And uh, one of the micro switches was broken. So we didn't even have the, the, another micro switch. So he dismantled the micro switch. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of a blowed a little bit into it and suddenly it worked. <laughs> Yeah, he sold her everything back, and, uh, and uh, suddenly the whole thing worked. Uh, so basically, uh, from the components part, uh, it's, a, it's a Raspberry Pi. We decided to use the Raspberry Pi as the cheapest. It's the low power. It's, uh, it's really cool, <laughs> and um, it, it can run MAMA and Linux on it. And um, so when I was deciding which components should I use, I started thinking about you know, connecting the GPIOs and all that, and like, okay, there's not enough of them on, on the Raspberry Pi for two players, and uh, so basically I found this amazing thing, which is right now in the picture, it's called IPAC, and uh, it's, it's basically a USB controller that, uh, so you, when you connect it to a, to a computer, it, uh, it, it shows itself as a keyboard. But all these pins on it are actually mapped for exactly for MAMA emulator to be like a left, right, 
uh, player one, you know, buttons and, 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 and coin insert, it's already pre-mapped. So all you have to do is basically uh, uh, this. Um, <laughs> all you have to basically do is uh, connect all the buttons and the joystick to it and uh, daisy chain um, uh, the, the, the ground and, and connect to it. And yeah, this is, this is our uh, desk while we were working on it. And uh, then it magically works. You just connect it to a uh, Raspberry Pi, you pray a little bit, and then, you know, suddenly, ta-da. Um, it all worked out uh, for us. So uh, yeah, there was uh, one of the things that uh, this picture doesn't show was that team molding. And um, we didn't have actually the, the machine to put the team molding in place. And the cabinet was already connected. I mean, the wood was already. Uh, uh, connected, so even if we had, we wouldn't be able to do it. So we decided to cut the T from the T molding and just glue it. And that didn't work out. So we used another type of glue, like super glue, and that didn't work out. So eventually we used the epoxy, like this, this has to work it. So we kind of glued ourselves, but that still didn't work out. So <laughs> basically, if you want to connect the molding, you have to put it the right way because the surface is just too, uh, you know, it, it, it's not rough enough to stick with any kind of a glue. That's why uh, it's kind of a brushed over. Like you don't, you don't have that, that, that rubber that goes all around it like you used to have in the real arcades. But uh, Hey, well, uh, it works, and uh, we are we're really happy uh, with our product. Um, so uh, we managed to pull it off in like three days, which is like really good. Uh, you can all check it out. It's upstairs. You can play with it. And, uh, you know, we started, uh, it's something that we managed to do it together, and uh, we started building an arcade, but uh, actually we ended up uh, building a dream of, of childhood dream of owning one. That's about it. Thank you. If anybody has any questions. We have two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where did you bought the controllers? Uh, we, I actually bought it from Adafruit Industries. Um, but as far as I heard, you can even find it. There's a guy selling them in, in oh, Belgrade. In the States. Where did you bought them? Online. So Online, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, otherfruit.com, I think. <laughs>